Hi, welcome to this episode of Detroit Peds Talk. I am Dr. Jamil Smith, clinical assistant professor and lead integrative behavioral health pediatric psychologist at Wayne Pediatrics. And I'm so excited today uh, to share with you how Wayne Pediatrics supports uh, the whole patient, the whole family by focusing on uh, supporting and addressing social determinants of health. And I'm so excited um, because, you know, when you think about social determinants of health, what we're really talking about is that uh, being healthy, being well, is not just about physically what's happening inside of the body. Um, we are focused here at Wayne Pediatrics on all the ways in which people live and the different factors, the different things that show up and are related to um, our kids' um, health. So I'm so excited to welcome today um, Dr. Megan Dwehi. Uh, she is the program manager of the Children's Health Collaborative um, and clinical assistant professor in the Department of Pediatrics at Wayne State School of Medicine. And um, Wayne Pediatrics, and she's going to share with us how we at Wayne Pediatrics supports social determinants of health and the families that we uh, care for. So thank you so much, Megan, for joining me. Hey, thank you, Dr. Smith. I'm really happy to be here. Great. So maybe you can give us, um, uh, Dr. Dwayhe, a little bit more information about what are social determinants of health? What are we really talking about? Yeah, absolutely. So social determinants of health are these social and economic factors that that impact our health um, and unfortunately, oftentimes negatively. So any any social social factors such as transportation and how that impacts someone's access to medical care. Um, another form of of a social determinant that impacts access to medical care would be um, insurance coverage and that that ability to navigate an insurance system that we all know in our country is incredibly confusing and complicated and continues to become more confusing and complex. Um, someone's um, social supports and support systems that they have around them, environmental sorts of supports and environment. When we talk about environment as it relates to social determinants of health, we can talk about our our you know that that more neighborhood like community environment but also that kind of physical um you know air air quality water you know lead in the soil that that sort of thing so all of these again social and economic factors that that somehow impact our health that as you alluded to we don't necessarily always think off the top of our heads like oh um i have access to transportation or i don't how does that impact my my physical well-being and i think just to kind of close on that, what are the social determinants of health topic? Um, one of the things we talk about this in the medical school a lot, and one of the things I, I always describe to the med students is think of social determinants of health as the causes of the causes. So um, diabetes is a great example for that one. We know, you know, what if you were to ask most um, clinical providers, you know, what is what's the cause of diabetes? Well, um, high high blood sugar. Um, then you would say, well, what's the cause of the cause? What's mm -hmm. the cause of that high blood sugar? And you would say, well, perhaps it's it's poor diet and it's um, lack of physical exercise, but you can go deeper and you can say, okay, what's the cause of that cause? What's the cause of the poor diet? What's the cause of the lack of physical activity and exercise? And then we can start digging into these deeper social determinants of health. Are, um, does that neighborhood have access to fresh produce and fresh um you know, well-stocked grocery stores in terms of quality foods and those sorts of things. So that causes of the causes is something I always like to, to bring up when talking about social determinants. Yeah, I love that phrase. That really helps to think about the connection, the causes of the causes. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's sort of widely accepted that 30 to 55% of health outcomes are 
caused by these social determinants of health. And so um, it seems important that physicians and physicians in training would be thinking about these things as well. Um, what groups of individuals do they disproportionately impact these social determinants of health? Yeah, that's a great question. So these, these social and economic factors that impact our health, I, like I mentioned, sometimes it can be positive, right? If you have a very affluent <clears throat> populations and groups of people that have access to tons of resources, and they probably have a positive effect on their health. But social determinants of health, as we tend to talk about them in public health and the negative effects on health, tend to disproportionately impact our, our marginalized groups. So those would be um, people of color, um, women, our LGBTQ um, population, those those um, those marginalized groups in our in our community. Um, disabled or, or disabled population. Um, and in general, again, I think a, an easy way to think about it is our lower resourced communities. Um, so some of our, again, if we're talking about that neighborhood kind of environmental component um, areas that, that don't have a lot of resources built in for, for their community members to easily access, these tend to be the, the groups that are disproportionately affected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's so much overlap um, in, you know, how these things sort of show up, right? It, 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 it can be a function of a lot of different factors um, that disproportionately affect um, a group, an individual. So talk to, talk to us about how Wayne Pediatrics is helping to try to minimize these disparities. What are we doing? Yeah, absolutely. One of the great things about Wayne Pediatrics is the, the fact that just sort of built right into our, our clinic model, um, we have some of these, these social determinants of health addressed already. Um, Wayne Pediatrics has um, a dietitian on site. So in, if we're talking about those um, food insecurity, food and nutrition sorts of sorts of social determinants, that's something that we we can call on the dietitian. We have our pediatric psychologist right on site. So some of those mental behavioral um, health concerns. And these are, you know, this is a, a really great um, integrated model in terms of bringing, you know, bringing that nutrition component, bringing that mental behavioral health component right into the, the physical health space. Um, and in addition to that, the Wayne Pediatrics, as well as the Department of Pediatrics here at Wayne State have, um, undergone this initiative called the Children's Health Collaborative, which you mentioned previously. And the collaborative is really focused on addressing social determinants of health in our children and families. Um, we went through a little bit of a strategic plan and identified some priority areas to, to focus on um, nutrition and, and healthy lifestyles being one of them, asthma. And again, that that brings in that, that air quality, you know, physical environment. Um, literacy and reading and how important reading um, reading is in, in terms of, you know, longevity and health outcomes later on down the road, as well as the mental behavioral health component and general kind of connection to, to care and resources. And so far in terms of things we've implemented um, into the clinic space, um, there's a reach out and read program. So that addresses our literacy component. Each, each child um, from Newborn all the way through adolescence that comes in for a well visit receives an age appropriate book to take home with them, um, and and just again encouraging that that reading at home, and um, with transportation services for for family members that that need them, and as well in terms of that nutrition and healthy lifestyle component, in addition to having that dietitian on on staff during our um, growing season, our local growing season, we have a fresh prescription program. In, in the clinic where um, interested families can, can sign up to receive um, food box deliveries from Eastern Market and there's some nutritional education that comes along with that. So yeah. we're working hard to address and do our part to, to address these social determinants that we know um, impact a lot of our families. Yeah, and it's really something that makes the practice unique, um, putting some intention behind addressing some of these. So it's not just about having, you know, physicians aware of these things, but really having some focused um, efforts to support 
patients and families. So thank you so much, Dr. Dwayhe, for sharing, you know, the good work that Wayne Pediatrics is doing to uh, reduce uh, how social determinants of health are impacting our families. Um, to make an appointment at Wayne Pediatrics, um, please visit waynepediatrics.org um, as well as our in a, social media pages on Instagram and Facebook for new episodes of Detroit Pete's Talk uh, showing each month. And remember, your child's pediatrician is the best source of addressing your child's medical needs. Thank you so much. Thank you.